How you doing guys? It's KB5 MIQ Big Boy. I uh, thought we just uh, got a few things to share with you this week. Um, got our winners, last our 800 subscriber winners gift uh, prize shipped out. Hadn't got, probably may not have got it yet due to Christmas rush. So I'm hopefully next video I'll have a picture of, the, of him in there with it. Uh, one thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give you a little preview of our 900 sub giveaway. Got this hardback 2005 AWRL handbook. This is in really good condition. And I didn't realize this. It's even got the CD-ROM in the back of it still sealed up. Also, I was up at uh, MTC the other day picking up the, some stuff. And uh, I was going to get a, they've got a real good deal of some inexpensive uh, external speakers. It worked real good. Uh, I'd already picked Cody up one on an earlier visit. And I had to get a... Tim and K1ENT and myself one. I was telling Christine about it. We, they know I'm on the channel up here. And I told her I was going to pick up one for a giveaway. So she gave me one. So MTC is helping out with their next uh, giveaway. Asiatic external speaker and that handbook will be in the next giveaway. Might be something else in it. Uh, I'm going to keep that back till we get a little closer. But thanks to MTC for helping us out and sponsoring that uh speaker for our next giveaway. Y'all remember he's going to have a bunch of used gear coming up the next couple of months. I was up there the other day and I've seen a bunch of it stacked up there so be watching the website. Uh, Y'all uh, keep old ham radio cat in your prayers. She's been sick this week uh, and uh, not responding well to the medicine so she doesn't feel like being in here today so y'all well, hope, hopefully she'll be all right. We may end up back to bed with her tomorrow. Uh, in my previous video, I had mentioned uh, WW5AH's loop antenna, and I put a slide of his uh, uh, balling in there with it. I'm going to put it back in this video also. I was wrong about the amount of wire that that uh, took for that antenna. So I went up to his house this week and shot a video up there to let him explain how he's got it set up. And if you happen to live in an area where you've got enough room to do something like this and you may not want to put a tire up or, or anything like that, as far as ham radio gear goes, this antenna is really not that expensive in the big scheme of ham radio. Uh, it covers 160 to 10 with a tuner. And he thinks it'll even tune on 6 meters. But I know that you can pretty well cover 160 to 10 with it. So uh, I'll let that video, rest that video speak for itself. We'll tag it on the end here. Also, Adam uh, runs FT8, and he gave me an FT8 demonstration. And I didn't film that, because I know you guys that know FT8, ain't nothing I can tell you about it. And some guys just have seen a lot of comments about guys that won't run FT8, so I'm not going to get into that argument either. Um, I will admit I kind of felt like a caveman seeing fire for the first time watching it, but it intrigued me enough. I may try it. I'm looking at some things. I've got to get a sound card interface because my 897 doesn't have it. So it's going to cost me a couple hundred bucks to get into it down the road, but I ain't going to rule it out. You may see a future video of me uh, running some FT8, trying it anyway. Also, he does old school packet, and it's kind of making a resurgence in this area, and that's something you may see me into also. There'll be a future video covering that too. So Adam, I uh, appreciate your hospitality showing this stuff around down there. I've got this video fixed to splice on the end here, then there'll be the usual slides uh, I'm going to put on behind all of it. Uh, Christmas coming up, uh, depending on the, what we got going on the weekend, next video may be a couple of days late before I come up with anything. And I don't know what wall we got going next weekend. Also, the uh, Cowtown Ham Fest is coming up in January, and there'll be the advertising slides for that on there. And I'm right now, I'm going to try to make it. Y'all be sure to remember MTC, keep an eye on his used gear and, and all the other stuff. He's getting some uh, HF stuff in, HF rigs in, a little bit of everything. So and they, they do real good support with the Ham Radio community. All right, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, the video will follow with the slides. And as always, the last thing you see be me and old Ham Radio Cat. This is, well, oh crap, I'm going to mess this up again. This is KB5MIQ Big Boy 73.
so that this thing catch up where it'll turn off. Hey guys, it's KP5 MIQ Big Boy. I'm here on location with Adam. I'm gonna have him, he's gonna explain to us his ground loop that he's running, cause I, I told y'all wrong on how much wire he's got on it, but this antenna's working real good. So I'm gonna flip it around here to Adam. KP5 AH Adam. Hello everybody. So what I've got is, is a mess of a place. Go ahead and show them my place. <laughs> I've, I've done it all over YouTube myself. And you can see my pole on the end of the building standing up. And off the very tip of the, of the uh, that's an H50 pole, and off the very tip is a pulley hanging down, and somewhere down that line I've got a two and a half to one ballon um, hanging there. And off each side of that ballon, I've got a wire that comes all the way around this yard, and this is about two and a half, maybe three acres that it covers. And it comes all the way down, you probably can't see it in the video, but it comes through the, the trees here, and I see the wire, the, the rope hanging from the tree limb up there. Yeah, I see it right there above our and head. And then there's a wire coming across above us here to that tree there. And you can see that's probably oh. just 50 feet high at that corner there. Yeah. Um, All right. And then it just runs back up the yard to this pole here. Back in the day, I had, had the loop short where it came across from the trees to that pole. And I lengthened it out, left the pole standing there. And then I've got another pole on the storage building up there with a with a rope that makes the the last corner before it goes back to the ballon up there. How many feet of wire you estimate you got on there? At least a thousand and fifty. What size wire are you running on it? Number fourteen. Number. It is it's the it's the stranded T H H N uh, number fourteen you get from Lowe's. Okay. Most of it is, I say right. that. The last section is just bare antenna wire from what's left of my G5 RV that I started with. Okay. Um, in fact, I just took it down this morning and, and pulled that up another five foot, shortened it up, trying to make it tune better. I'm finding with uh, trying to do FT8 on 10 meters, my tuner would tune it, but when you actually go to transmit, it'd create all kinds of uh, RF problems in the, in the shack there, and the computer would stop responding to the program and the radio would lock up and transmit. So I made a I made a five foot change this morning and it seems to have fixed that problem. Well, I know it works real good on single sideband, especially on our on our ground wave conversation. Man, you're S8, S9 on us most nights there in Avery and I'm probably, as a crow flies, at least 25 miles from you. Right. So, well, all right, Adam, appreciate that. We're gonna put this in a video and uh, I sure do appreciate you letting us look at your stuff here. Yes, sir. Because that's a good way to get an antenna on the air with not a whole lot of money involved. It, it works real good. It's really cheap. All right. Thank you, Adam.